So, how can you promote your event effectively? For every successful event, marketing is essential, which also means that you need some stunning graphics such as posters to attract the viewer's attention and also to help convey every information concerning the event to the viewer. And fortunately, creating stunning posters is much much easier now in Canva and in this tutorial, that is what I'm going to be teaching you. Hey everyone, Benjamin here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a stunning poster you can actually use to promote any event at all of your choice. So, so if you are new to this channel, all I want to say is subscribing to this channel is the best thing you can do. And if you're an OG, I salute you and I must say thank you so much for the continued support. So, let's jump straight into it. So, this is the poster we are actually going to create. And the first thing I'm just going to do is to click on the plus icon to create a new page. So, as you can see, there are so many things going on in this poster, but I must tell you that it's so easy to create and i'm going to show you exactly what i did so the first thing we are going to do is to pick out so many shapes to create some sort of pattern okay in our design so let me show you what i did so i just came into element in element just go into shapes and um, there are so many shapes at all so you can use any shape of your choice so i'll choose a circle i will go to triangle i can choose um you know a diamond and i just also i think one of the things i use is a semi-circle okay so semi-circle okay then come into graphics and then graphic there are so many of them so i'll choose this one then you can see we have some squares over here so i just press r on my keyboard for a rectangle so we have a few shapes over here so the next thing we are going to do is to apply various colors to the shape so let's do that so i'll just choose the first shape over here come to my color and choose any color of your choice so select this and you can actually feel free to choose any color at all you don't need to stick to one color so i can choose maybe this but actually using vibrant colors would make it more interesting okay so um, i think another color i can use should be this okay then now that we've done that we are now going to arrange our shapes to create a pattern so to make our job easy i actually have have a photo i uploaded in canva just so that we can look on that to create our own pattern and to be able to find this just go into element.theafricangeeks.com and just search for pattern you should find the same thing over there okay all right so i'll just upload it and we can see there's one over here and there's another one also over here so we can actually look on any of this to create our pattern okay okay so i can just maybe select this and duplicate it okay reduce the size and duplicate it more position it over here all right then we can select this part and duplicate okay and you just have to be creative to make all of this interesting all right all right so i'll just position it like this and just reduce the size okay just to make it fit and i can also maybe duplicate this one duplicate it again position this inside you know so we choose a size like that you know just to create something interesting then we can change the color to any color at all all right so this is just a matter of playing with the shapes to create some sort of interesting uh pattern okay so i can make this like this and select you know all of them you can make it bigger you know according to how you want it to look all right all right then you can move it to the top maybe change the color to any color at all of your choice so maybe this color like this okay then select everything and move it to the top and um, once you're okay with maybe any pattern at all of your choice all you need to do is to select everything and duplicate it okay then you can just bring it to the bottom over here but i'll send it to the back so we have something like this okay so i'll just select everything and use ctrl g to group then i'll just take this out okay select my pattern and bring it here right nice one then duplicate it again and also position it here so now that we have this we are going to add some extra shapes where we would now fix our information on and also add our subject images right so, so i'll just press out my keyboard for a rectangle okay move it to the top over here and i can just drag it down a little bit and maybe drag it over here okay this is actually something simple i'll select it and i may just use the same color okay because i just seem to love this color so select it and then um, the color code is 01bee0 -E -E okay so that should be the color code so duplicate it then i'll extend it a little bit okay change the color to white all right then we'll just send it behind all right so now to be able to send it behind you can just right click come to arrange and you should see backward okay so you just have to send it backward all right all right so now you can see how the whole thing is looking this is actually beautiful if you don't like this i don't know what else you like all right so now what we are going to do next is to add this kind of shapes okay so 
duplicate it position it you know still at the same place reduce it and um, you know just also reduce it this way right then we change the color so that we can be able to spot the difference okay and this color code is 2e 5e 91 right so i'll pull it down a little bit like this and i think this should be fine then the next thing i did was i just um duplicated it okay then i just trimmed it or resize the lines like this and made the color the same one we have behind okay then i can just create you know a very simple pattern as well but i would reduce the transparency of the line to something like that right then duplicate the line position it here duplicate the line and you can make this one bigger you know then we can just select these two lines and duplicate them then position them down here so you can see what we have been able to create so the next thing we are going to do is to add our subject images okay and to do this we are actually going to search for images in canva and this is where i have to say that just in case you are using the free version of canva i want to highly just in case you are using the free version of canva i want to give you the opportunity to use canva pro for free so because of this i have a link in the description box below that can help you use canva pro and if you are wondering why should i use canva pro and all of that look i was also there initially and i thought canva pro wasn't important until i started using it when you want to upload your custom font you want to be able to use the background remover which we are going to use more animation options multiple brand kits so that you can be able to work with clients efficiently with the same canva account having access to millions of canva templates and even millions of pro font inside of canva there are actually so much more and trust me you canva is coming with more features and i can testify to that because i have seen them myself more features that would actually be so good to use if you are on the pro version of canva so please Use the link I have in the description box below to start using Canva Pro for free today. So yeah, let's return to what we have to do. So I'll just come to my, you know, photos and I'll just search for any photo at all. But I have these images already here, right? So I'll just scroll down a little bit and I should find it. So this is the first one. If I right click, it just search for oversized sporty African woman. So I'll search, I'll just click on that. And we also have this one, woman in black tank top wearing black sunglasses so i will select that one as well so what we are going to do next is to remove the background okay so i select the image come to edit image and bg remover and select the same come to bg remover okay and it should start loading like this and please i really need you to use canva pro because ah, i just don't know what else to say but trust me there are just so much more you can actually do with canva pro and you can see i'm wearing the canva expect how do you how does it look on me you know wow. <laughs> i'm actually loving it and it feels so comfortable like it's all because of you your support and everything so make sure to hit the subscribe button you understand because i don't know why you would watch this nice tutorials and join it and you wouldn't leave a subscribe or just hit on the like button as well if you have any questions leave it in the comment section as simple as that okay so the background have been removed beautifully so we'll just crop them okay position this here and you can see that this one looks so bigger than this so we would maybe trim all of them or crop all of them to their waist levels all right this lady has a lot of hips mm. anyway I, I didn't say anything just you didn't hear me say anything you understand single guys or uh, admire ladies too much anyway so you can see what i've done very easy and beautiful maybe i should just keep all of them at the same height sort of you know and position this here then we'll come to adjust and adjust what we are going to do is um instead of this we'll come into filters okay click on c or and there are so many filters over here so we'll use the grayscale filter right then select it again the intensity make sure to reduce it to maybe 28 okay and we are going to do the same for this one choose grayscale what did i just say gris gris scale okay select it again and we'll just reduce it to 28 okay so we should have something like this now so what we are going to do next is to add our text okay so let's see how to do that okay so we will just come back here and i just feel like there's so much space at the top over here which we can actually fill with these images so i'll just maybe increase the images okay so something like that and yeah this should look okay now we would add our text and our text i just press here on my keyboard for text so i'll move my text to the top over here come to the font type area over here and i'll use this text it's a custom font i actually uploaded in canva so it's one of the features of canva pro okay so the event name is maybe rain r-e-i-g-n okay and you can use any name of your choice and if you're on the free version of canva or still on the free version of canva you can use any font type at all okay so rain and i'll just leave it here and i'll just make it go behind the lady's head okay to so something like this is fantastic okay so make sure it's centered 
then there we can add any extra text at all so maybe i'll just come to you know select this and position this here as you know some dummy text over here right then we are going to add multiple shapes but at the moment i feel so lazy to redo them so i'll select all these things i added and i'll duplicate it you know they are just shapes and text over here and what we can do is we can create an extended version to add the time and stuff so maybe we'll put this one over here okay Pop it like this and pull it down over here. Do the same for this. Position it over here. Then we can change the colors. So this can take maybe the yellow and this can also take maybe uh, something else. Something like this. All right. All right. Then in terms of the numbers, we'll just select. Or oh, maybe this is the 15th. Okay. 15th. Okay. Then we put it over here. So 15th. And uh, I just want this to make it bigger. Okay. So 15th. Oh my goodness. Okay. So then duplicate it. And I can see maybe 15th June. Okay. So J U N. No, I'll just make it 10th June instead. J U N E. Right. Then position it here. And yeah, I'll just make it 10 instead. And with the time, we'll duplicate this, position this here. And we can just see 900. Mm. And maybe we'll have to reduce the size. The color is too bright, I think. So we might have to change the color to make it easy, you know, so that we, it can be consumed easily. Right. I think this is better. And in fact, zoom in and uh, select this. How was it happening? Oh my goodness. So select the time position it here increase the size okay to something like this then i may just say 9 p.m gmt so depending on your time zone you can just use that all right select the two of them and i'll just center it then maybe with this i should also do the same over here select them and center it okay yeah my, my background is so noisy oh okay bring it to the front and reduce it so you can see what we have been able to do and this is actually something simple you can get done in canva so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did kindly make sure to hit on the subscribe button and hit on the like button to support this video the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video Wake up, I'm on to the next New day, I gotta do my best uh, Every day I put the work in The grind never stop, you ain't never seen me